Meditan. It's a pleasure to meet you today. I really appreciate for allowing me to come here to your office. By the way, you have a really nice view here. Man, like you're, you're living the life and um, I just appreciate that we have this moment to sit down and to talk. How are you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me, yeah. uh, Mika. Yeah. It's a pleasure uh -huh. to have a talk with you here. Well, I, I remember we started our conversation, I believe it has to be like maybe two years ago. Um, one year and a half year ago, you know, about your coming here to uh, South Korea. And um, thank God that I came here right now and we're having this conversation. How is Korea in general for you? <clears throat> yes, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Korea, uh, it's a mm -hmm. very good country. Yes. Uh, I mean, you can see mm -hmm. the advancement, yeah. uh, the technology, mm -hmm. uh, city, mm -hmm. and so, so the social life is also. I mean, yes. it's evolving now, yeah, but yeah. the uh, connection with the mm. people, mm. the integrating with the culture, mm. it takes a little time. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's the most safest country. Mm. And then there is a lot to learn. Uh, the digital you know, penetration, mm. the cacao, the mm. lifestyle, the technology. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everything is it's, it's easiest to mm. live here. Mm. And it's, it's, it's a lot to learn yeah, from yeah. Korea back mm -hmm. home. Yeah. And then it's also a big economy, mm. 52 million population, mm. high disposable income. Mm. And then it's very good for a business mm. uh, to tap in opportunities to drive more traffic to Africa, yeah. both cargo and passenger. Mm. So business-wise, it's also very good. And social life is also, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's becoming quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I got to say that, you know, I feel so proud, first of all, to see that, you know, we have Ethiopian Airlines here in South Korea, right? And this is the office, nice view, just next to the blue house right there and the palace. For me, I would say that we made it, you know what I'm saying? Because things like this you will expect maybe to see in African countries, but to see that, you know, we have some branches outside of the continent, um, it feels good and it's a privilege as, a, as an African to see that. And I want to ask you this first question, what does it mean to you? Oh yeah, uh, we have this mm -hmm. brand association of yeah. an African airline mm. connecting Africa with the rest of the world. Yeah, we have been doing this for the last seven decades. Mm. We're really proud of serving our continent, mm. especially aviation being mm -hmm. uh, the largest. I mean, in different economies, the largest mm -hmm. contributor for the GDP and yes. direct employment. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe we are taking a good share of mm -hmm. the African development yeah. uh, in the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think a lot of people mm -hmm. doesn't know that we yeah. have also, mm -hmm. uh, the, we, we have taken the excellence to the next level by yes. connecting mm -hmm. not only Africa mm -hmm. with the rest of the world, but mm -hmm. different continents. Mm -hmm. I may give you a very good example okay. uh, here in Korea only. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I think the COVID has been, mm -hmm. Uh, devastating for yeah. our, our business and actually all aviation mm -hmm. uh, sectors in mm -hmm. different in different countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, there has been various improvements back in uh, last year December. Mm -hmm. The restriction has been eased and the country's uh, vaccination rate has been growing. Yeah. But suddenly Omicron made it worse. Mm -hmm. We were hoping things are coming. Mm -hmm. We were our passenger volume was quite low. Mm. We've been just carrying only cargo yeah. by the belly. Mm. And Omicron in December, mm. especially, it, it, it claimed that it has been widespread, especially yeah. in Africa. Mm -hmm. So the Korean government has made very uh, mm. quick decision mm. uh, to ban airlines who operate directly to Africa. Yeah. And we yeah. are the only one operating, so yeah. it was a sad well, and then it was a very shocking news for us. Mm -hmm. We have to stop our operation here mm -hmm. from Korea to mm -hmm. Japan. I yeah. mean, from Korea to Africa. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for us, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, not only for us, but for our customers. Mm -hmm. You can imagine our customers are in Africa, mm -hmm. stranded, and then in Korea, stranded. Mm -hmm. And we believe always we have to take mm -hmm. our passengers home. That's so true. we have to request actually special permission mm. from Korean government at least to operate mm. once a week. Wow. 
wow. to take and, our and, people back home. And, and at that time, like how, how, how many times were you operating before these, the, the restriction? Three times. Three times. Yeah. So three times all the way to one time. Yeah. Okay. Actually, pre-COVID, mm. it was five times. Okay. But due to the volume, it was limited to three. All right. And the, but that time, mm. we, we have to make it just oh, wow. one. Wow. But one is also mm. limited. Our operation is okay. we have to connect Africans mm. to Korea and Japan okay. through this flight. All right. But we were restricted to operate only to Korea. No. So it's wow. limited. And mm. then from Korea, from mm. Africa, it's only mm. Korean passengers. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we always say we are mm. at the bar in good times with mm. our customers. Mm. We, we, even if cash-wise, it was very difficult for us, yeah. especially those four months, mm. we managed to operate once a week and then mm. make our customers trust us mm. in, 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 even in that yeah. bad situation. Yeah. But we always believe, even if it was devastating, one mm. flight only, mm. we ask us mm. every single opportunity yeah. to make it for us. Mm. Fortunately, there mm. was high demand, mm. huge demand uh, of test kit yeah. from Korea to exactly. uh, the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we had that brand equity mm -hmm. by transporting mm. those PPEs mm. to all over the world mm. so we were actually participating in the bid mm. and we made it mm. so we operated uh, mm. for three months from january to march wow. from korea mm. through pacific directly to america wow. and canada and how many kids did you transport uh, over 50 million Come test on, kids man. wow it was the wow. it was the most 50 million the most diff uh, i can say mm. highly demanded operation it's wow. korean it's wow. a u.s government mm. it's canadian government mm. they need that test kit immediately and then we had to operate actually daily sometimes wow. there was a production issue here in mm. korea we mm. had to make it two or three times a day Wow. So our wow. offices in Belgium, mm. which is our hub, mm. uh, all our aircrafts are coming from Belgium to mm. Korea. Mm -hmm. And then our head office, mm. day in, day out, and our U.S. people, mm -hmm. we are just connecting every yeah. single day wow. to make, to deliver mm -hmm. all these test kits on time. Come on, and man. we have got huge recognition in the market. Mm -hmm. I, I know previously when I came here, when I meet the folks, yeah. always, uh, they just branded us as an African niche carrier. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm. Everybody knows in the market mm. that massive operation, 3.4 ton of cargo mm. Mm. and 70 flights nearly daily wow. to directly through Pacific. Mm. That was amazing performance for us and the brand has perception has automatically wow. changed. Wow. Wow. And then I think this is one of the best the business case that yeah. show yeah. now Ethiopian Airlines is yeah. not just only connecting Africa with the rest of the exactly. world, but right. connecting yeah. different big yeah. economies, mm. Korea and United yeah. States and Korea and mm. uh, Canada yeah. with yeah. that high volume and urgent yeah. test exactly. case. Yeah. All flights were on time, mm. 70 flights. Mm. The, mm. And this is another level of excellence that yeah. we have demonstrated. Mm. No, Ethiopia is a really global yeah. and an accomplished airline. I, th I think this is really like, it, it's a really good example of um, us as an Africans to really break, break out of that little bubble box that most of the time we just think about, you know, Africa, Africa. Exactly. You know, and instead we we should focus and competing with the rest of the world. Because us in Africa, I mean we are one. So we should we should we should always find out the ways of how can we cooperate, how can we compete with the rest of the world. Because that is our real competition and not really within the continent. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean that that's the cargo yes. that we discussed. But mm -hmm. that is from Mm -hmm. January to March, mm -hmm. so uh, actually to April we had to operate only once a week. Okay. And then mm -hmm. uh, I think the COVID became endemic. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. Korean government mm -hmm. lifted the restrictions, especially yeah. the quarantine restriction yeah. on April. Uh -huh. So we had to move, to remobilize yeah. on passenger. Yeah, yeah. And we made actually another yeah. milestone here. Okay. There's uh, something else. Our, yes. Wow. Our flight <laughs> is actually from <laughs> Korea. Uh -huh. From Addis to Korea and from Korea to Japan. Okay, yeah. So the Incheon Airport mm. has recognized mm. airlines mm. who have uh, made significant mm. contribution on this recovery stage. Okay, yeah. So yeah. we have nearly 70 airlines operating mm. to and from Africa. Yeah. I mean, to and from Korea. Yeah. So among the 70 airlines, Ethiopian made it to mm. the airlines who are listed. Really? Eight airlines listed for the wow. award. So we were wow. the second highest. Wow. Uh, passenger wow. number from mm. Korea mm -hmm. to Japan, connecting Korea 
in Japan. Wow. It's not Africa. It's <laughs> <laughs> is it is it the picture I saw? Like yeah, the picture ex- of you and you know Jim exactly, Zon? exactly. Oh. That was the Ichan Auto uh, Rich. Wow. Uh, uh, president, so we were awarded. You received the award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we received the yeah. award mm-hmm. for making it from Come on, Korea man. to Japan. So Man. the car was a successful mm. story. This is we are talking within six yeah. seven months. Yeah, yeah. So we made mm. fifty million test tickets, mm-hmm. which is actually historical performance in wow. Korea. Wow. In terms mm. of revenue mm. and operation mm. size, mm. and within that six months, we made it also yeah. on the passenger. The, yeah. <laughs> so the agility. <laughs> The yeah. organizational strategy mm, and then mm. the diversifying passenger mm. cargo, investing yeah. in everywhere, mm. making both the cargo mm. passenger mm. leading mm. has paid off yeah. in this very uh, mm. problematic time. Well, what, what would you say about the, the volume of uh, the business volume of between Korea and um, Africa and basically yeah. other countries? Yeah, that is actually yeah. a good question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Korea Africa market volume is mm. quite low. Mm. Uh, I think before a couple of years, yeah. when Korea were, were more on light mm. manufacturing, yeah. there has been a good movement of people and goods mm. from mm. Korea. But once the Koreans are more outsourcing mm. the light manufacturing, mm. uh, moving to high end production, mm-hmm. their trade. Mm. is quite limited yeah. and then also the tourist mm. the brand perception mm. towards africa mm. is not much oh, yeah. improved that's true uh, recently <coughs> there is a good mm. uh, uh, progress mm. but still mm. there is that african misconception yeah, yeah. Uh, due, due to the media mm. and then also the promotion that they have seen mm. the, the africa of the past mm. yeah so mm. actually it's not the homework of the mm. Korean government or yeah. the Korean population mm. is the homework of Africa of to rebrand yeah. ourselves exactly. to showcase the Who new really Africa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, What is the new Africa? Indeed. That yeah. 1.2 billion population mm. with a growing economy mm-hmm. and then with diverse culture, nature mm. attractions. Mm. So we have to do rebranding yeah. and to drive more traffic mm. from Africa from Korea to Africa. Yeah, yeah. And fortunately. Mm. We have a hu- huge benefit here, mm-hmm. the social media. Oh, yeah. If we are more aggressively mm-hmm. uh, do campaigns, aggressive mm-hmm. markets, yeah. uh, campaigns, mm-hmm. we can easily, in mm-hmm. a short period of time, rebrand mm-hmm. Africa. Yeah. And then it's high disposable income. It's 52 million population, mm-hmm. imagine, going yeah. to Africa. So there is a huge benefit exactly. for the economy. In so many ways, yeah. Yeah, and for the people. Yeah. So yeah. we have actually tried mm. to experiment a little bit. Yeah. Uh. I don't know if you have seen, uh, I had tried to mm. uh, organize some mm. YouTubers trip to Ethiopia. Okay. Mm. And fortunately, mm. we have seen mm. a very good feedback yeah. from the public. Yeah. We, mm. got, we got like with few videos over mm. 10 million views. Wow. And honestly, if I wow. go to shop somewhere else, oh, where are you from? I'm from Ethiopia. I know Ethiopia. Ethiopia. How do you know? I saw on YouTube. Wow. Because they are on the tu- YouTube, mm, a lot mm. of Koreans are yeah. nowadays on mm. YouTube and social media. Mm. So we have this leverage, mm. if we are more organized yeah. on rebranding Africa, yeah. we can improve the volume. Mm. I, I, think, I, think, I think what you're saying is really important. In, in, in our community, we have one uh, campaign, we say reimagining Africa. And I love the word reimagining or rebranding Africa because Africa used to be a certain way but now it's our responsibility to exactly. reimagine and rebranding it because we, we kind of like lost the test of what we are and I think what you're saying it's 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 really impressive and really encouraging to the rest of Africans who are watching this interview that instead of victimizing ourselves it's the time for us to start thinking on how can we change that, that image that people they had for so long about Africa by actually doing something in a, in, a, in a way like the way like Ethiopian Airlines is doing very excellent way that will stay on the map on top of everybody, you know, competing with the rest of the world and showing them that, okay, this is actually Africa. This is the Africa of 21st century. Exactly. It's not the Africa of long time ago. It's not like they colonized Africa. No, no. This is the Africa we have right now. And we exactly. have duty to do something to rebrand that. Exactly. Is there any specific ways that you feel like we should do mm-hmm. to rebranding Africa? You, you have spoken about, you know, uh, marketing or like using different influences, bringing them exactly. to the continent. Uh, is there any other ways that you have in your mind you think like 
yeah. we should do. Yeah, yeah actually, uh, after we have seen this mm. very promising feedback, yeah. uh, we thought it's going to take a lot of time to mm. rebrand and then to change also the perception mm. here in Korea. Mm. But the young generation is really adaptive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, once you show them uh, you can visit there are mm. a lot of culture mm. and nature you need things to mm. see mm. They, they can easily grasp yeah. Th that's what we have uh, seen mm. so an extension of this Ethiopian Airlines activity mm. I had a chance to uh, have a conversation with yeah. embassies okay and I think right. sooner mm. we will have East Africa tour mm. campaign come on with, huh? a, with the Tanzanian Man. ambassador we had a conversation with Tanzania ambassador, yeah. Rwanda, uh -huh. Kenya, mm. and Ethiopia. Uh -huh. So soon we will have those top tier mm. influencers mm. going to East Africa. You know, you know, I will be in Tanzania, right? Oh yeah, in Ethiopia and in Kenya. <laughs> of course, I think it's part of what you do. I can host you guys. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly, what I'm exactly. doing. Come on you now. Know, the thing is actually yeah. uh, because. Mm. Uh, not only in Korea, actually, yeah. the rest of the world, especially in Northeast Asia, mm. the people have been watching that part of Africa, yeah. the past of Africa, a lot. Mm. Mm. So even if you display, I mean, read, I mean, write mm. a lot, yeah. even if you show them videos, mm. it it will be quite difficult exactly. for them to, mm. to, to just relate it mm. and then to make quick decisions. Mm. But if you let them experience by yeah. their own people yeah. on the ground, oh, that's true. Mm. that is the only mm. and the shortest way to rebrand. Mm. And then we did it actually again, mm. you know, due to this uh, Ukraine war, mm. the, the, mm. the, the volume, I mean, the demand of mm. travel was exactly. high after yeah. the recovery, but mm. there was a capacity issue. Mm. Mm. So, and we have seen mm. a very promising trend, people going to mm. Europe through mm. Ethiopian Airlines, mm. through Addis. Mm. And then we did a two months free stopover package. Mm. We let people yeah. to spend in Addis. Mm. And mm. We, we have, I think you have saw a birthday video that we did oh, and yeah. a lot of attraction. Yeah. So yeah. Th those kind of things on the social media mm. make people feel as long as we have a good product, mm. we can even fly mm. through Africa mm. to Europe. Mm. And then we are thinking with the embassies, yeah. Even if it may be difficult at the first way, first stage mm -hmm. to make them only travel to Africa, mm -hmm. we can make them stay in yeah. Addis, mm -hmm. go to Tanzania mm -hmm. early morning, exactly. coming back next day and go to Europe. So we can, we can let them stay in Africa, uh, stop in Africa. I'm in uh, Ethiopia for one day to transit and I'm going to France today night. It's a very beautiful country. It has a big history and I'm very, very uh, happy to be here. 저는 오늘 저녁 런던으로 향하게 됩니다. 이번에 이티오피아에 처음 오게 됐습니다. 여기 커피는 한국에서 먹던 거랑 되게 달라서 되게 독특하고 맛있는 것 같아요. Where I'm learning and uh, many things about the history million years of life and culture or in Ethiopia it's very enriching for me. First of all really glad to see the blue sea and also I really enjoy the coffee. I learned how to enjoy the aroma of coffee and everything. It was nice. We went down in the hotel and we had the Ethiopian lunch. We tested injera, I think, the name is, and it was like really good, really nice, nice taste. Ethiopia, 너무 즐겁고 행복한 거야. 커피 너무 맛있어요. 그리고 런던에 갑니다 마지막으로. 너무 좋아요, 아주. Let, let me just say this, if, if these guys, they need a host, you know, I speak Korean yeah. and, and Swahili and English as well. If these guys, they come and you want, you want someone from the ground, like to be with them, to move here and there, you have your, you have your man right here. You have my word. Yo. <laughs> we'll make it so. <laughs> I am excited. We will be overwhelming the media here. Yeah, yeah because I want to, I want I really want to be part of this because I see how you think and I see how much you want, you know, really transform and really rebranding Africa. You know, the, the thing that you've done, and, and I, I want to say this because people, they have to hear that you actually went to Tanzania embassy, Ethiopian embassy, 
Kenyan embassy, Rwanda. Rwandan embassy, to talk to their the excellence so that we may have this like joint venture campaign to rebranding Africa. First of all, salute to that. Because you. you know, this this is what we preach about all the time, one Africa. And you know, through what you're doing, you didn't have to do that, to be honest. You didn't have to go to Kenya to you, you just had to go and be to Ethiopia because you're from Ethiopia. But including all this part of the countries like eastern side of Africa, I mean, I respect you, man. Thank you, sir. That's that's really nice move. But um Apart from that, I just want to ask you one question, because nobody can argue how uh, Ethiopian airline, uh, you know, has been really maintaining the level of excellence, both in the continent and outside of the continent. I mean, I went to Ethiopia a couple of times, and one thing that I loved is every time I went to the airport, I just saw like, like hundreds and hundreds of Ethiopian airlines. And for me, I felt really good that it's good that we have our own you know, brands are on, you know, plan all over the, all over the continent. But um, I don't know this. What do you think African companies should learn from Ethiopian airline company? And, and you know, we, we've spoken before about institutionalization and all this stuff. And I think this is really important thing that we can actually learn and also where we are if we want to go a little bit further, like somewhere there. What should we do? What can we learn and what should we do? Yeah, uh, very good question. Mm -hmm. Actually, this needs research, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but from my experience, mm -hmm. I have tried to work with a lot of African colleagues. Yes. Uh, I went to a lot of African countries, mm -hmm. uh, and I have also a chance to see mm -hmm. working with global companies. Mm -hmm. So I can, it's, nowadays it's very difficult to mm -hmm. have a sustainable competitive advantage. Yeah. So we have this sustainably. Mm -hmm. It's all, every time it's mm -hmm. short. Mm -hmm. And if you have, for example, oh, they need to purchase fleet, mm. you can make it just next day. Yeah. And a network, you can build it mm. just quite sooner. Mm. Everything, the ease of replication mm. is there. Mm. And between the leader and the lagger, the mm. difference is quite short. Mm. It needs strategic leadership. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you cannot compare and then you cannot have that yeah. distant mm. uh, 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 gap mm. between mm. companies. Mm. So, but the single most mm. competitive advantage, a single most mm. uh, capability, I can say, yeah. or resource, you name it, mm. is a culture, culture, organizational culture. Exactly, yeah. You can let some company come mm. to Africa and invest and make it next day, having all, everything. Mm. Mm. But culture is a rare competency that you can replicate easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is the culture Indeed. of Indeed. Ethiopia yeah. that has been mm. for the last seven mm. years, mm. make it grow mm. and then make it much more high. Yeah. The culture of, uh, mm. uh, I mean, when we are engaging, when we are mm. getting uh, to Ethiopian Airlines, yeah. you always uh, got informed mm. by the seniors mm. if something has been done elsewhere mm. in the best way, yeah. why not? Here. Exactly, why not here, yeah. What do you lack? Mm -hmm. You have everything. Yeah. So always they will mm -hmm. tell you, you're not competing with the neighbor. Mm -hmm. You're not competing with, your, with just uh, other mm -hmm. department or mm -hmm. other employees. Mm -hmm. You are al always being told mm -hmm. to compare with your yeah. the highest mm -hmm. uh, company or yeah. the highest department mm -hmm. or the highest unit mm -hmm. elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So every single day mm -hmm. you are assessing how, what things are being done elsewhere, yeah. mm. and then what it takes to make it that. So yeah, yeah. there is no comfort zone. Mm, mm. You don't have any comfort zone because everything is volatile, everything yeah. is changed. So mm. when I was in IT, mm. uh, I, was, I was director of IT, we told, mm. you have to make the app one of the best in Africa. Yeah. Oh, we were, we were lagging. Mm. We were lagging behind. Mm. And then we had, you have to make it in three months. Mm. You have to make it in two months. Wow. So the ambitious mm. leadership, Mm. They will just teach you mm. to think always high yeah. and then to compare yourself, mm. not with someone closer to you, exactly. someone but someone high. high. <laughs> yeah. This is, I think, a culture. This is a culture yeah. everywhere mm. within the company. Mm. I think we lack this one mm. in, other, uh, in different companies. Mm. The comparison is still mm. with the nearest with the, yeah, com yeah. Com mm. company, which is also poor. Mm comparing to the global yeah, competition. Yeah, so yeah. that yeah. perspective has mm. to be changed. Mm. We can make a global company, yeah. we should compete personally mm. 
uh, department wise, exactly, yeah. company wise, mm. with somebody mm. who has been better. at the peak. Exactly. Yeah. That way you don't have comfort that you have to work day in day out. You have yeah. to scan the environment. What's going on out there? Come what's on, new yeah. today? What's new yesterday? What mm. have what we need to do to mm. bring that capability here? Yeah. And then to to change. Yeah. But, and the second most important mm. is we have this brutal mm. saying in Ethiopian Airlines: mm. "Get it done by any means." The first is mm. set the bar high, always yeah. mm -hmm. have the benchmark, one of mm. the leading mm. entity in the world. Get it done by any means. That is the second thing. <laughs> no. uh -huh. Usually we have in Africa, we have the culture of externalizing mm. issues. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. we are lucky we have a lot to externalize. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's, we don't want just to lose our comfort zone. Yeah. Say, Oh, it's because of okay. X, Y, mm. that yeah. one. Yeah. So because we have a lot, mm. uh, we are just maintaining our comfort zone mm. by externalizing mm. uh, uh, to some entity. Yeah. That is a deep culture. Mm. You get it to, oh, we were colonized. Mm. You may say, oh, we, yeah. were, we were having yeah. uh, the government mm. or the competition yeah. or they have this and that. Yeah. Mm. You have a lot of excuse personal. Mm at the institutional level, mm. even at the national level. Mm, mm. That is a deep culture that I yeah. think pull back us uh, so yeah, all the from time. Moving forward. Yeah, so yeah. When, when you told, get it done by enemies, mm. you have to think out of the box. Yeah. Oh, you cannot say, oh, our passenger, uh, the volume is not mm. there. Mm. Oh, the passenger uh, mm. business is not here. Mm. You have to find out a mm. single opportunity mm. out there, mm. leverage it, mm. and then make Ethiopian wow. stay mm -hmm. like our uh, our, uh, mm -hmm. ances our, our, our ancestors or yeah. I can say yeah. uh, the previous mm -hmm. management has made it we mm -hmm. have to transfer it to the next generation yeah so there is no room mm -hmm. of excuse yeah at yeah. any level exactly that will just yeah. mm -hmm. uh, will not give you a comfort zone mm -hmm. so always mm -hmm. if it's here blocked yeah. you have to find out opportunity here. Mm -hmm. So this is a deep culture within right. Ethiopian. Mm. When we had that issue of mm. uh, ninety percent of our passenger mm. airplane grounded, we just converted immediately. Yeah. Mm. Oh, when the PPE was done, mm. there was huge vaccine demand. Mm. We have to make it. Mm. We have to reorganize ourselves, prepare the certification technology, everything. Mm. So whenever something happens, yeah. There must we, we have to find a single opportunity. A yeah. We don't have to leave excuse mm. for anything. Mm. So get it done by enemies. A very brutal, <laughs> illogical. Sometimes yeah. you yeah. feel bad. <laughs> what can I do here? <laughs> get it done by enemies. By enemies, yeah. as long so, as it's not illegal. Exactly. Yeah. So culture, mm. this culture is the only competitive mm. advantage. Sustainable. Yeah. We can say, oh, Ethiopian can sustain. Because mm. we have the culture. Yes. Otherwise, things are changing here and mm. there. Mm. You mm. know, the global economy, yeah. uh, the pandemic, mm. the fuel cost. Mm. You can name war. Mm. There are a lot of things that are happening. Yeah. You can just give it to them. Mm. But we are not there to give up. Mm. We have to find a single opportunity and, and are able to find sustainable. It. Man, I, I want to pinpoint one thing. I think two things that you said for our viewers, so that you guys may understand. The first thing he, he's spoken about, you know, victimizing ourselves, like because of that, because of that, we were colonized, because that's why this has happened. Oh, these people are taking advantage of us, that's why this is talking. Those, those reasons, we, you can always find an excuse. You can exactly. always find a reason why you didn't do something. Exactly. But also you can always find a reason why you have to do something, you know? So I, I believe that... Um, one thing that all of us, I think we should learn from what you say is that um, we need to forget about excuse and um, we need to try everything we can to do it exactly. and to just get it done. Whether if, if one way is closed, you can, either, you can always find a second way. You can always find the third way. Exactly. That's really good. So before we end up, I want to know something from this. Um, of course, first thing, I think I'll, I'll combine two questions at one. You've been here in Korea, right? You've been working here and you've seen the advancement of uh, Korea's economy and technology. Uh, what do you think Africa should learn from that first? And second, what are the future plans of Ethiopian Airlines here? You guys here in Korea, in the near future, what are you guys looking forward to do? Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. I think uh, it's... Yeah. 
uh, the first one is high, it's a broad one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, at least extensive research. But mm. from my personal experience, my mm. my background is tech. Yeah. So uh, what I have seen is mm. uh, the catch up. Mm. We okay. Korea was a developing country mm. in recent years. Yeah. So they see, mm. especially. Let me uh, make it. Uh, more mm. on the technology area. Okay. Yeah. Where I'm, I'm comfortable talking with. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you have Google, mm -hmm. which dominates mm. uh, the world mm. in terms of search. Mm. They have a Google replica called Neva. Yes. A search engine. Yeah. That, I think, dominantly mm. being used by the Korean community. Mm -hmm. So, the mm. replication mm. and adding a local features to that. Yeah. So they are very good at mastering mm. what's elsewhere best mm. and then a little bit localizing yeah. and then make it available for the public. Mm. Uh, you can see cacao. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think people or any other country could just reimagine mm. doing a messaging platform because They're it's all there. Yeah, they exactly. made cacao is a lifestyle, more than 9 percent of yeah. the Korean population use it. Mm. Just cacao me, it's just a verb now. Mm -hmm. So the messaging, the payment, the taxi, they made it so like good. a super app, adding mm. a lot of features and make governments are also integrating there. Mm. And then they make life much more easier. Mm. If you talk about Amazon, mm. we have replica coupon yeah. with exact replica mm. and then added localization features. Mm. So if you name wow. uh one more, two lotte more. I can take sure. Everything Uber. is here. Yeah. <laughs> you mm -hmm. can name. Mm -hmm. You can name. They have mm -hmm. the best mm -hmm. replica with additional feature. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine mm -hmm. uh, the test kit. Mm -hmm. We are we are talking about the U.S. government, yeah. Canada government, mm -hmm. Israel, mm -hmm. Europe. Mm -hmm. Everybody who has been asking Korean government mm -hmm. to get priority. Yeah. And a country which has wow. which was before a couple of years mm -hmm. and developing and mm -hmm. turn to advance it mm -hmm. is now a powerhouse of industrialization. Wow. Wow. So what you can see is mm -hmm. replicating mm -hmm. replicating not a technology, mm -hmm. governance, yeah. leadership, mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. to the ground level. Mm -hmm. That's how they have done now mm -hmm. is more on invention. Mm -hmm. It was innovation, mm -hmm. replicating and you know, making it work here. Yeah. And then uh, they are expanding it to the yeah. rest of the world. Yeah. So what I have seen from technology is mm -hmm. getting the best mm -hmm. benchmark. Yeah. Benchmark, not the technology, not the output, mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. How do they start? How do they mm -hmm. make the thinking process, yeah. the strategy design, yeah. and yeah. the production, oh. and the service, mm -hmm. end to end. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thousand percent. And uh, that, that's beautiful. I mean, that's really, 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 really beautiful. And I think it's it's much easier. I think Koreans, they kind of understood that uh, not everybody, you know, understand, you know, English because all of these, you know, big platforms, they have their, like, English-based, you know, platforms. And when you come to the context of Africa, I think we can definitely do the same thing by localizing this stuff in an in a, in a, in a, in African language, in the language that we can actually understand and communicate with one another. And I think once people, they feel comfortable with all these platforms and everything, it will be very easy to take off. Exactly. Right? But, but using some, someone else platform, it feels like, first of all, you're paying taxes to someone else, so you're not really developing yourself. You're promoting someone else's culture in your own culture, so you have a danger there of use, losing your authenticity of your culture. So I think this is something very important that we need to learn. And we have African diasporas who are outside all over the world to come back home and actually to, you know, to duplicate yeah. the same thing, but in our own ways, you know, exactly. and to transform our continent. The, the final question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, our near future yes. in Korea, mm -hmm. we have actually a uh, very good competitive advantage in Korea, yeah. mm -hmm. thanks to our ancestors mm -hmm. who fought yeah. coming back from Africa to Korea. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have the live, we have the li the leverage mm. to operate direct to any other mm. country. Mm. So we've been currently operating mm. cargo from uh, mm. Belgium. I yeah. mean from salmon. Mm. Oh, we bring salmon oh. from uh, <laughs> Norway to Korea. Wow. So mm. we have we have the opportunity mm. to operate mm. not 
uh, from mm. Addis only, but mm. to other, other countries. Con- so yeah, yeah. daily, mm. I mean, twice a week, we mm. are importing mm. fresh salmon from mm. Norway mm. to uh, so, okay. Korea. Mm. Mm. So our next mission is yeah. connecting Korea with America. Mm. New York, especially. Wow. That that is our. Come on now. Yeah. So that's our <laughs> near future plan. Yeah. To operate directly from Korea mm. to New York and yeah. back to Korea and then continue to Africa. So and that's and that's not easy because yeah. you guys are Ethiopian airline in Korea and operating from Korea to New York. Like, yeah. it's not easy. Like, it's not common. Yeah, it's not common. Actually, mm. this fifth freedom, we call yeah. it technically fifth freedom, is not yeah. common. Oh. Uh, actually, we have in some markets, mm. as mm. I mentioned, for example, mm. daily, I mean, yeah. uh, three times a week. Mm. I think this is also very interesting. Yeah. I don't know if it's much, mm. but mm. <laughs> <laughs> from Ethiopia, mm-hmm. from Addis, mm. we carry mm. nearly 90 ton flour yeah. to Belgium. Wow, okay. And then from Belgium, mm. from Belgium, we go to Norway. Mm-hmm. And then from Norway, nearly 90 to 100 ton, we carry salmon wow. to Korea. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then from Korea, mm. there's uh, uh, Korean producers, uh, mm. uh, spare parts for the sheep, for the mm. car, mm. test kits, and mm. other e-commerce products to Africa. Mm. So we are already doing it. We are connecting yeah. uh, Europe and mm. Korea, Korea to yeah. economies. Yeah. Three continents, actually. Yeah. Thrice a week, we are mm. con- connecting three economies. So now, extending that capability, Mm -hmm. that excellence, Mm -hmm. to operate from Ethiopia, Mm -hmm. Korea, Korea to New York or US, and Mm -hmm. from New York back to Mm -hmm. uh, Korea Korea. and Korea to Addis. Mm -hmm. This is our plan. And That's we are good. working strategically on rebranding and then make preparation. That is one. And the yeah. second is mm-hmm. operating freighter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, directly from here to uh, America wow. and then operating daily from Addis. Now we have four. I hope uh, the, the recovery is going to be very smooth soon. So th- this is our plan. We set up strategy. Yeah. We have a roadmap yeah. and we are mobilizing resources to make exactly. it happen in the future. Yeah. Let me say this, uh, His Excellency Miritab. If we're going to sit down here to talk about all the accomplishments and all the plans, I think we're going to stay the whole day. So for yeah. today, just for today, allow me to end it here. Yeah. Because this is not the last time. We're going to definitely have another version later on in the future. But I want to appreciate you so much for the beautiful work you're doing to represent not only Ethiopian airline, but also Africa. You know, I got to give you a salute for that. I appreciate so much. I love the fact that you are very visionary. You you have you're very ambitious man, and you're doing incredible to represent us. You know, and we feel proud of that. So, Hill Nation One Africa, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate your work. Yeah, uh, yeah. We need that digital presence. I follow yeah. your Swali Nation. We have yeah. to expand it. Yeah. We have to awaken the people. Yes. Or preparing the future of Africa mm. for the use mm. and then that's on the very right track. Yeah. We are there to help. Mm. So yeah, yeah, let's cross hands yeah. and then change the perception yes. and then improve our economy and business together. Yeah. I really appreciate for your time here. Thank today. you so much. I Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, it was such an amazing conversation with uh, His Excellency Miritab right here. And let me know in the comment section, guys, what have you learned? And I think, you know, even myself here, I was just very quiet today because there's a lot of things I was just trying to download and to listen and to learn. You know, today I'm flying back to Ethiopia and then I'll go to Tanzania, you know, 10 days after. I, you know, I hope, you know, we can implement some of these, you know, things that I heard from His Excellency. So guys, always remember, you know, we can reimagine Africa, we can rebrand Africa, we can make Africa, you know, we have to go back to the roots to represent Africa the way it used to be. And that responsibility is on us, youth, to do that, to actualize that, to implement that. So go out there and do it today. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.